वेलकम स्टूडेंट इन टूडे सेक्शन वी विल सी वेपर कॉम्प्रेशन रेफ्रिजरेशन साइकिल एंड वी विल सी हाउ टू ड्रॉ इट ऑन पी एच एंड टी एस डायग्राम एंड द टाइप्स ऑफ वेपर कॉम्प्रेशन रेफ्रिजरेशन साइकिल सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू सी द फर्स्ट टाइप दैट वेपर कॉम्प्रेशन कॉम्प्रेशन रेफ्रिजरेशन साइकिल विथ ड्राई सेचुरेटेड वेपर आफ्टर compression okay so here we are so this is the diagram for ts and ps diagram when the vcr is having dry and saturated vapor after compression i already told you here uh, firstly let's uh, uh, concentrate on this ph diagram here this is the curve which is saturated saturation curve and this process 1 to 2 is it of compression then 2 to 3 it is of condensation 3 to 4 it is of expansion we already see here this 1 to 2 it is compression 2 to 3 it is condensation 3 to 4 it is expansion and 4 to 1 it is the process of evaporation okay so here how we are going to draw this uh, vcr cycle with dry and saturated vapor at the end of compression okay so here this is the process 1 to 2 which is of compression why they are uh, why did this tell that cycle with dry saturated vapor after compression means this uh, this is the saturation curve which is uh, this is the part uh, which is saturated vapor and this is the part of saturated liquid means after compression we are having this dry and saturated vapor means point 2 should be lie on this saturation curve as after compression we are getting saturated vapor means before compression this point 1 should be lie in the wet area so this process 1 2 2 it is of compression we are getting wet vapors from this evaporator and compressor compresses it to the dry and saturated vapor up to this saturation curve then you know in 2 to 3 it is the process where condensation of high pressure vapors is carried out so in this process 2 to 3 there is a continuously cooling of refrigerant is carried on that's why this enthalpy is decreasing here you can see this 2 to 3 is the process where enthalpy is decreasing and when all this vapor get completely condensed we get here saturated liquid at point 3 and we are getting saturated liquid means point 3 lies on the saturated liquid line of saturated curve then you know this is the process of 3 to 4 it is the process of expansion here the pressure drops so here you can see this pressure drop drops from pre 3 to p4 and as this pressure drops along with the pressure drop its temperature also drops and when this low pressure liquid refrigerant when pass through the evaporator it absorbs heat from the evaporator you can see here as heat is absorbed during this process 4 to 1 enthalpy also is increasing and there is a phase change occurs and this uh, more weight liquid refrigerant uh, becomes to the uh, wet and the, this wet vapors are absorbed by the compressor and compressor compresses them increasing its pressure and temperature and convert it into the dry and saturated vapor so this is the process we i show you on the ph diagram now on this ts diagram we are having this saturation curve here you can see this 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 is the saturation curve this process 1 2 2 it is the isentropic compression isentropic compression means there is a uh, constant entropy that's why this process 1 2 2 it is the continuous or vertical line s1 equals to s2 then when this uh, uh, point 2 it is the saturated vapor point so you can see on the saturated vapor line it is saturated vapor line we are getting our point 2 then point 2 2 3 it is our condensation point 3 it is the on dry uh, on li saturated liquid line of 
saturation curve then you know this is 3 to 4 it is the process of expansion actually this expansion takes place uh, through the nozzle or through the expansion wall so in uh, during this 3 to 4 process it is the asynthalpic process that's why its enthalpy remains constant here you can see on enthalpy h3 but here in case of this intro uh, on ts diagram as the pressure decreases but because of this low pressure there is a process of Uh, there is some process carried out because of this uh, some vapors get evaporated and uh, uh, the entropy of this uh, liquid increases actually there is a concept of flash flash takes place there that's why some entropy increases that's why this uh, graph is this line is slightly curved and then pro process 4 to 1 it is the process of evaporation or refrigerating effect production now here we are going to see again this compression process of 1 2 2 it is the isentropic compression that's why this s1 is equals to s2 on the ts diagram uh, here this low pressure and temperature vapor refrigerant compresses isentropically to dry saturated vapor work done during the isentropic compression process per kg of gas is equals to h2 minus h1 this is the work done here then H1 it is the enthalpy of vapor refrigerant at the compressor inlet at temperature T1 and H2 it is the enthalpy of vapor refrigerant at compressor discharge H2. This is the process on the pH diagram and this is the process on the TS diagram. Now process 2 to 3 it is of condensation you can see here high pressure and temperature vapor refrigerant condensate at constant pressure and temperature in a condenser. This is the 2 to 3. No work done is performed in 2 to 3 process. Here only the heat is evolved and temperature is decreases. Oh, sorry. Temperature remains constant. Uh, only the heat is evolved there. If subcooling is occurs there, then there will be the following temperature. Then here it is the expansion process of 3 to 4 where you can see liquid refrigerant at pressure P2 is equal to P3 and temperature T2 is equal to T3 is expanded by throttling process through the expansion wall to a low temperature P1 is equal to P4 and temperature T1 is equal to T4. During throttling process no heat is absorbed or rejected by liquid refrigerant. But here uh, in, during this process of 3 to 4 which is expansion wall okay. uh, during this refrigerant will expand isentropically in the process 3 to 4 isentropic expansion reduces external work being expanded in running the compressor there is an increase in the re refrigerating effect and increasing the COP of the system here you can see this is 3 to 4 I already told you that this is the uh, flashing effect takes place there that's why only a, a 5 percent of the liquid will get evaporated that's why there is an incre increase in the entropy of the system Then use of expansion wall during expansion process. Expansion wall system of uh, expanding the liquid refrigerant is complicated. It involves greater initial cost and refrigerant flow can't be controlled because of the fixed cylinder volume. Then here refrigerating effect produced here in during the process of 4 to 1. I already explained it. Here liquid vapor mixture of refrigerant at pressure P4, P4 is equal to P1 and temperature T4 is equal to T1 is evaporated and changes into the vapor refrigerant at constant pressure and temperature here. During this evaporation, the liquid vapor refrigerant absorbs its latent heat of vaporization H of Fg from the medium uh, air, water, brine or refrigerant. 
this process takes place in the evaporator itself i already told you that uh, this when this low pressure liquid refrigerant comes in the evaporator it absorbs heat which is latent heat because there is a phase change takes place this latent heat of vaporization is absorbed by the refrigerant and it is known as refrigerating effect here the refrigerating effect or the heat absorbed or extracted by the liquid vapor refrigerant during evaporation per kg of refrigerant can be given as h1 minus h4 here or h1 minus hf of 3 HF of 3 it is the sensible heat of temperature T3 actually we are uh, we need to solve the numericals of this uh, vapor compression refrigeration cycle at that time I will show you how we are going to solve this or how we are going to take this then uh, calculating the COP of this system is COP is equals to a uh, ratio of refrigerating effect to the work done so here refrigerating effect produced is equal to h1 minus h4 and heat uh, work is supplied to the compressor is h2 minus h1 actually uh, here you can see that this 0.4 it, it comes in the wet region that's why at the to find out the actual enthalpy h of 4 here we need to calculate the dryness fraction and to calculate this dryness fracture we are having this formula h of 4 h and upon h of g actually all this formula we, we will uh, note down this formula in the next section here whenever the point falls under under the weight region at that time we need to calculate the dryness fraction okay so these are the numericals here you can see these numericals we need to solve out uh, we will solve this numerical in the next section okay so uh, students we are stopping here and we will see the remaining concept in the next section thank you